Good morning, everybody. Welcome to AWE. It's, uh, it's great to be here in a room full of believers like all of you. It's great to be here in the industrial heartland of Europe here in, here in Munich and Germany. And um, I'm really excited to share with you PTC's perspective on what's happening with augmented reality, specifically in the industrial enterprise. Uh, this technology, as you all know, has the potential to fundamentally change the way that we communicate on all kinds of topics. And most interesting to, to myself and to my colleagues at PTC is the impact that it will have across the value chain in product development and in industrial use cases. In conversations with our customers, uh, what we found is that that impact can be pretty profound from design reviews and product development to visual product, uh, virtual product demonstrations uh, across sales and marketing and all kinds of use cases in manufacturing and service and the way that we operate. And of course, training for many of those activities as well. And what the data shows, this is survey feedback data from our, uh, our customers and our prospects in the industrial space, what the data shows is that these areas Areas around manufacturing and service and training related to that is, is most profoundly impacted. And frankly, augmented reality's impact in the industrial enterprise couldn't happen at a better time. There are so many challenges, so much pressure on people in the industrial space. Challenges around an aging workforce and a lack of workers. Some companies are experiencing up to a 30% turnover rate. So there's constant churn. There are millions of open positions in these industries. And even people that are mid-career are challenged to keep their skills up to speed as technology changes and products evolve and offerings continue to, continue to change. It's a real big challenge to keep workers up to speed. The environments that we work in, now that we have smart connected operations, smart connected products, the products have become more complicated. The amount of information that a factory floor worker needs to be able to ingest as they execute their daily tasks has simply exploded. And then finally, our culture has changed. The demands of customers are sky high. We live in a world full of on-demand expectations, immediate delivery, immediate satisfaction, immediate resolution. So all of this is putting tremendous pressure on these industrial companies. And what AR brings to the equation is the antidote. What it brings is worker productivity. What it brings is intuitive efficiency and effectiveness. What it brings is the ability to differentiate your offerings from those of your, com of your competitors. And at PTC, we're already seeing this technology have an impact. We're already seeing the ROI and the value begin to manifest itself in these kinds of, in, in these kinds of settings. So let me tell you a couple of, show you, share with you a couple of examples. The first of those is a industrial company, multi-billion dollar company called Agco. They provide all kinds of uh, farming and agricultural equipment. And what they've been able to do, using augmented reality for training of their technicians, is they've been able to reduce the training time by 60%. They've been able to present information in a clear and compelling way that is engaging. And that engaging point is driving their dealers to demand more and more AR. Many industrial companies have new engineers that are entering the workforce. So you're 25, 27 years old, you're showing up to your first day on the job, and if you walk into the job and you're presented with a 300-page paper manual, it's a really hard way to start your new career. These people are true digital natives. They don't remember a time without the internet. They've grown up with tablets and devices in their hands. And they frankly are much more engaged by the digital medium that AR can provide to them. Agco has recognized this and they've been able to replace literally hundreds of pages of paper manuals, training manuals that were essentially PowerPoint slides printed on paper with AR experiences. 
And these AR experiences are being used to educate people in classrooms. They're, being able, they're, they're, be, they're able to visualize products, understand the mechanics of how they work before they get out into the field. And then when they get into the field, they're able to install their products much more quickly. And almost as importantly, they're able to do it with a higher level of quality. So their first time success rate has gone up. So that's a great example on the, on, on the training front. I have another, um, another story to tell you about a company called BAE Systems. So BAE Systems is a global aerospace defense industrial uh, provider. Um, and they, together with PTC and Microsoft, have begun their AR journey. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to let them tell you about that story in their, in their own words. Before I do that, though, this is a great example of the incredibly tight partnership between PTC and Microsoft. We work closely together on IoT. We work closely together on mixed and augmented, augmented reality. And that relationship is driving, is driving tremendous value out in the market. So let's see one example of that from the folks at BAE. There's huge growth in this market, but it is unsustainable unless we embrace new technology. BAE Systems is committed to solving the most complex problems our customers have. Here at BAE Systems, we make the electric propulsion for hybrid drive buses. Our production tempo has increased dramatically. We brought on a lot of new people. That's forced us to look at innovative solutions to build product correctly every time. How do we do that? How did we do that? As with mixed reality. When I first tried a HoloLens, I quickly understood that this technology would have significant implications for our business and that we needed to get out in front of it. We had to find a platform that could help us scale, and that's when we began the conversations with PTC. PTC's mission is to bridge the physical and the digital worlds whether it's manufacturing, operating, or servicing physical products. We came along and we had a mixed reality solution to allow them to create experiences for the HoloLens quicker and more efficiently. It's all drag and drop. You don't need a lot of technical expertise. You can get up and running right away. It just makes it a lot faster and easier to get a lot of people using the experiences that were created with our software. PTC's mixed reality solution has allowed us to drag and drop our 3D models that we already have to create added work instructions to deliver to our production floor in hours and at a tenth of the cost. We develop a step-by-step -step guide that lets the assembler completely assemble the battery. You're not looking at this in two dimensions anymore on a screen that's far away from you. It's right in front of you. HoloLens has really become beneficial in allowing us to train new people on this product 30 to 40 percent more efficiently. Using the HoloLens, I was able to cut my assembly time in half. We can understand and we can learn so much faster, efficiently, feel a part of this process. Microsoft has really nailed it with the HoloLens platform, and PTC is helping us scale this affordably across the enterprise. 20 years ago, we didn't have personal computers on every bench. 10 years ago, we didn't have 3D printers. Now I can't imagine building without those, and I think this is what the HoloLens represents. It's the next step in the evolution of high-tech manufacturing. The future of mixed reality is really exciting because the possibilities are endless. We're just starting to scratch the surface of it. It really is endless what we're going to be able to do and where we can go. This is going to help us get there. Okay, so um, a couple of points there. Uh, first off, I noticed that many of you were recording that on your phone. Uh, it's available on YouTube. So if you Google BAE Systems, PTC, HoloLens, you can, you can watch that again. And I would encourage you to watch it again because there's some interesting things there. The first thing that you should know is that that video was entirely recorded with a special ca camera, it's called a BevCam, through a HoloLens. There's no post-production. All of that is exactly what the experience looks like. Um, the second thing that I want to point out is that there are a couple of key points there. You heard the woman that does the work say that she's able to do her job 50% faster. You heard her manager say that he is able to train people 40% faster. 30 to 40 is actually what he says. And then you heard him say that they were able to accomplish all of this at one-tenth of the cost of their other alternatives. So that's a pretty compelling story. Great, say, great, great results and, and cost effective uh, as well. And that's, and that's possible thanks to the technology from PTC called Vuforia Studio. 
this drag and drop authoring environment that allows you to create that experience without writing any code, reusing the 3D content that you have, and easily presenting these compelling step-by-step -step sequence. So we're, 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 we're really proud of the work that we've done with BAE Systems and, and, and Agco and many, many other, other companies. We're also excited to tell you today about technology for remote assistance. So this is particularly important in service situations. It's particularly important, again, considering that aging workforce and everybody's desire to capture their tribal knowledge and transfer that knowledge to new workers. Uh, this technology is called Vuforia Chalk. It's available globally. You may have heard about it in the past, but today we're announcing that it's available globally. And let me, uh, let me use a video to introduce to you more about it. This is Vuforia Chalk, an easy-to-use, powerful support tool that allows your workforce to collaborate in real time, anywhere. Chalk enables your workforce to connect for support or training. First, employees can share a live view of their workspace with an expert or coworker. The waste valve here. Now that that's closed, you can turn on your uh, surface wash valve, which is here. Okay, got it. Both people can draw on the world and work together as if they are together. And thanks to Vuforia Augmented Reality Technology, your annotations stick exactly where they're drawn, even when you move around as you work. In fact, you can pause the live view to draw easy-to-follow, multi-step instructions. With chalk, simple instructions help you solve complex problems quickly and effectively. OK, so that's, uh, that gives you a good sense for um, for what, uh, what, what, what chalk is about and, and how it can be applied in these service use cases. And again, in the service space is a tremendous opportunity for augmented reality. Today, PTC and Aberdeen are also announcing the availability of a new report that really talks about what impact AR can have in service. And it provides clear comparisons between the impact that it has in companies that use AR uh, versus companies that are not. And these impacts affect things like customer retention. They affect things like customer satisfaction. And all of that ultimately leads to hard dollar savings and, and true value that can be measured on the, on the bottom line. At the press conference later today, I'll talk more about that report. And that's just one example of some of the research that PTC is doing to help customers on the journey in the industrial enterprise. This chart here is another tool that we think is pretty valuable. And it's a great way to think about all of the questions that need to be answered as a company begins its AR journey. Questions if I begin at maybe the, the, the two o'clock spot on what kinds of capabilities do you need to expose? Are you simply trying to visualize something that's not there? Are you interested in providing guidance? Or do you want to fundamentally change the way that you interact with the machine and present a whole new interface? What kind of hardware is available or necessary for the particular use case that you're attacking? Is it as simple as a phone or do you need true head-worn uh, head device? What kind of uh, tracking or mapping is required? Is it enough to have information just presented unregistered? Or do we actually need to overlay 3D content directly on a physical object to communicate clearly and without ambiguity? What kind of an implementation approach can we afford or do we need? Do we need to spool up a development team or can we use some out-of-the-box solution? And then finally, with what shall I augment reality? Where will the content come from? And for each one of these questions, depending on the use case, there's a different collection of answers. And we want to help companies understand how to go through and understand those answers and achieve a successful outcome. This point around content is a very important one. Uh, Ori talked a little bit of, uh, about it uh, as well. Um, and this is a challenge that we continue to work on. So I've talked a little bit about Chalk. I've talked a little bit about Studio. I also want you to understand that there's more capability that we're working on that will, w that will allow people to transfer knowledge by actually capturing what they're doing in situ, in the context of where they actually perform, this, perform their work. And, that will, and, we're, and we're doing this really to address this point around content. I don't always have the luxury of IoT data and connectivity and 3D CAD data, and I may not want to invest in 
creating it or scanning. So how can I capture what I do, where I do, so that I can share it with others? Well, let me show you an example. This is Sarah. She works in a, in a medical lab. And she wants to communicate and capture what it is that she's doing. Next step, take temperature, temperature control unit out of the box. And remove the cover. Take picture. Okay, so she's basically doing what she does on a daily basis. She has a hollow lens on, and it's where and the hollow lens is running Vuforia technology that is actually capturing everything that's going on. And when I say everything that's going on, there's a lot going on. So what are we capturing? Well, we're capturing the scan of the room that the hollow lens is automatically capturing. We understand where she is at every point in the procedure. You can see a little avatar of her moving around. In the top left corner, we have a streaming video feed of everything that is happening. In the top right corner, any particular posed picture that she chooses to create, we capture. In the lower left-hand corner, we've, ca we've converted everything she has said into text and organized it by steps. You'll notice she said step one, remove the sample. Step two, compare the barcodes. Um, so all of this information creates a very, very rich definition of what she is doing as she executes her job. And we can do fantastic things with it. Now, one of the most simple but incredibly valuable things we can do with it is we can document it. Many of our customers are saying, I spend months and months trying to document standard operating procedures. If I could capture them this way and just publish them, that would be hugely valuable. So of course we can do that. But we also know where she has done everything that she has done. So we can use that location-based data to then present the right information back to the trainee at the right location. As they move around the space, present to them the next step at that space. Of course, we can do other things like optimize shop floor layout or lab layout, and there's all kinds of other value we can realize there as well. And we, we demonstrated this at our, at our last event. I'll just play the video here and give you a quick sense for what this might look like as the trainee. Um, so here I see that this is step one. The text is presented um, textually. And, uh, the instructions are presented textually. They could be spoken to me. They could also be translated, which is another value uh, prop here. And as I execute each of these steps, you see that the next one is, um, is, then, is then presented to me. So this is just a glimpse into some of the other ways that we're leveraging the power of augmented reality to drive value in these industrial enterprise settings. And there's a lot more things like this to come. At PTC, we're deeply committed to solving these challenges. We're bringing together these various approaches, pre-authored 3D instructions, in situ captured instructions, uh, ad hoc, real-time, remote expertise. All of those are coming together to allow industrial enterprises to leverage the power of AR, to tell the stories that they want to tell, and to do it with a recognition that this needs to be a solution that works in the enterprise. The content has to be managed. There has to be security, privacy. We've got to be able to have all of the requirements that are, meet the requirements that our IT team puts upon us. So as I, as I wrap up here this morning, I just want to take a moment and acknowledge uh, just some of the customers that we've been working with that are, that are really helping blaze the path here for augmented reality, blaze it, pave it, and get value from it. Um, you've, you've heard some of their stories here today. Uh, we would love for you to come and visit us at our booth and, and, and hear more about how this technology is driving value. In fact, at our booth, Innovation Rocks will be there as well, and they're just one of the, of the hundreds and hundreds of uh, agencies that are out there taking advantage of the Vuforia engine to go off and build incredibly innovative solutions as well. So we'd love to have you come by and say hello to them as well. And then finally, I look forward to seeing all of you tonight at the, um, at the after party. I hope you have a great day, and I really appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much. <laughs>